Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I feel led to share one of my comments with you. Um, one of my subscribers, or someone that left a comment anyway, I guess they're a subscriber, uh, got a vision last night, and I want to read you this. All right. Um, this is probably French. It's probably Jean Mallet, but it looks like Jean Mallet. That's how we would say it. But anyway, I'm just assuming maybe it's his wife's channel. He says, um, I'm just going to go to his message. I wasn't receiving any more messages or visions from God since my last message. And yesterday I prayed all day for a sign. At 3.30, I was outside and a sadness overcame me so strong I started to cry, but I didn't know why. My wife came out and she saw me cry and held me and asked why I was crying. I told her I had no clue, but there was a sadness deeper than I ever had. And my neighbor was outside, but I didn't know he was there. And before I entered my home, I saw him. And he had tears in his eyes. And said, I don't mind people judging me. For only God is important for me to be judged by. I didn't expect that from him, because... We have never spoke of religion, and I didn't know if he was a believer or not. That night I went to bed, and around 11 p.m. I saw a vision. I saw a television with a live newscast with a man and a woman newscaster reporting a live event of a huge metal statue of a goat opening its mouth and spitting fire and some people were in front throwing what seemed to be all religious items. I am not sure for I was too far away to see what they were throwing into the open mouth of the goat. People were rejoicing as the mouth was devouring the items and spitting fire. And during that time, there was the music of the Ninth Symphony from Beethoven playing. Wonder what the message is in that. Can somebody comment? I may look that up. And then I woke up. I knew then that this was after the rapture. And that's why God had showed me everything for the rapture to take place. But since I was asking for a sign, since he had showed me everything, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I think he showed me the aftermath. I fell asleep, and during the night, he spoke to me and said, I started this, and I am the one who will finish it. So we can take um, pleasure, uh, rejoice in knowing our Almighty God is in charge. He knows everything that Satan has planned. He's allowing what he wants to accomplish his purpose. Unfortunately, some innocent people end up dying. But we're not living in heaven on earth. Okay? I saw some comments from people after... Supposedly the uh, Syrian guy, Assad, supposedly gas attacked 
some of his own people. And somebody commented, well, where was your God then? Why did those children and women have to die? Your God is nothing or something like that. You know, he's not powerful enough to stop that. Well, all right, first of all, no, God does not stop all evil. We're living in a very evil time. And if those people were Christians, then they came right on into the arms of our Lord. Their spirits. That's what I believe. I have heard some debate and seen some things said. Well, no, they don't go to heaven until their re body's resurrected. But I honestly don't know about that. Feel free to comment if you have some insight on that. I know of some near-death experiences where people went to heaven and they saw empty mansions and hardly anybody up there. Anyway, that's not the point of this. <sighs> well, now I forgot what I was talking about. I guess I didn't need to say it. I was basically wanting to share this man's vision and what God said. Oh, that he was in charge and he knows everything. He's allowing what he will allow and he is not going to stop every crime. How many innocent people are being tortured down in the deep underground military graves with government experiments trying to create uh, what we call chimera, half person, half animal. It's going on and, and uh, uh, atrocities that have to be an abomination to our Lord. It's just like in the days of Noah when the fallen angels were sleeping with daughters of men, human women, creating the Nephilim. Okay, they were half fallen angel, half human. And a lot of them were giants. Oh, anyway, you can read a lot about that in the book of Enoch. So, God said he started all this and he's going to finish it. And I know that's true. So I will just stop this here and say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video as usual and over the internet connection and over each and every one of you as well. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.